Hey guys, Scarlett here. I have a, another Yuletide video and you guys seem to really like the video I did previously about some of the pagan origins of Christmas. So this will be another video in that series and today we are going to talk about the symbolism of Santa Claus. So I have my Santa hat on for the occasion. But before I jump into it, I want to give a big welcome to anyone new here. I create weekly videos about topics like tarot, paganism, and magic. And I want to give a big hug to all my returning subscribers out there. So let's jump into it. Now, I wanted to talk about Santa Claus because, of course, it's a fun topic. But there are so many fascinating theories and ideas out there about where the symbolism of Santa originates. Now, the name Santa Claus in particular has its roots in the informal Dutch name for Saint Nicholas, which is Sinterklaas. So it's starting to sound a bit familiar to Santa Claus. And of course, when we think about Saint Nicholas, well, he was a 4th century Greek saint who did have a reputation for secret gift giving and would leave coins in the shoes left out for him. But Saint Nicholas looks nothing like the jolly old Saint Nick we are familiar with. So I wanted to look into that particular image of Santa Claus, see where that originates, and find out if there are any pagan origins behind that imagery we associate with Santa. And there's a couple different things to uncover here. Now, why we think about Santa appearing in this particular way in part comes from two big sources. One is the book Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore, and that definitely contributed to our contemporary image of Santa. Though there is also the image of Santa created by the political cartoonist Thomas Nast, and this was in the 19th century. So you have these two images that made a big influence on why we view Santa in this way today. But I want to ask the question, well, what inspired Thomas Nast and Clement Moore to portray Santa like this? Where, were, where does all this come from? What were they possibly thinking about when they were designing this image? And I have two possible theories for you that I wanted to go over that do have pagan origins. One of them is Odin. And then the other one is going to be Siberian shamanism. So let's jump right in. We're going to start with Odin. So we know that Odin is one of the major gods in Norse paganism and that he was depicted as an elderly man with a long white beard who had some magical powers. So a little similar to Santa Claus there. And during the winter solstice, also known as Yule, Odin would lead a hunting party called the Wild Hunt. And he would be in the sky with his eight-legged reindeer called Sleipnir. And in the 13th century poetic Edda, it states that this mystical horse Sleipnir could leap great distances, definitely a trait that reindeer possess. And children would leave their boots by the chimney and fill them with carrots and hay for Sleipnir. So this is definitely starting to draw some parallels here with Santa. And legend has it that when Odin flew by, he would also leave gifts for the villagers by their boots. And after Christianity took hold, this practice of gift giving was later adopted in relation to Saint Nicholas. And that's what we spoke about a bit earlier with Saint Nicholas being associated with gift giving. So there's definitely a chance that they combined some of the symbolism of Odin and those stories about Odin during Yule and placed them on top of the Greek saint, Saint Nicholas. So there's already, you're starting to see kind of a lot of fascinating similarities here between Odin and Santa Claus. 
Now, the next thing I want to talk about is Siberian shamanism. And this is a fascinating theory, and it's not my own theory. I saw this uh, in a video by a fellow YouTuber, Arif Hagar, so I'll leave his video linked in the description box. But I thought it was so fascinating, and I wanted to share it with you and get your opinions on this concept as well. So in thinking about Siberian shamanism, I want to start with asking the question, why the red and white color scheme for Santa? And red and white were the colors of a much older Slavic deity known as Father Winter. And these colors were chosen because they are the colors of a particular hallucinogenic mushroom known as Amentia muscara. I might be pronouncing the name of that mushroom wrong. But this particular mushroom was integral not just to early pagan civilizations, but potentially even Christianity as well. And I do have this book here, The Sacred Mushroom and the Cross, which delves into some fascinating theories about how this particular hallucinogenic mushroom was a major influence in the spread of early Christianity. So we know that this mushroom was influential among many different civilizations. And here, when we're talking about Siberian shamanism, it becomes particularly interesting. Um, so these mushrooms were consumed by reindeer in Siberia. They actually really enjoy to dig up these mushrooms in winter and eat them. So because these mushrooms are hallucinogenic, um, you could say that these reindeer were flying high, if you know what I mean. Um, and during midwinter, in Siberia, the local shaman, he would collect enough of these mushrooms for the entire village. And he would collect them in a big bag and deliver them to each house in the village. The villagers would then put some of the mushrooms in a sock, hang it by the fireplace so that they would dry out. And then after they dried out, the family would consume the mushrooms during the winter solstice and induce an altered state. Now, this particular mushroom, it also happens to grow beneath the pine tree. So the same tree that we use today for our Christmas and Yule trees. And the shamans in Siberia, they wore the very same red and white we associate with Santa with a fur trim and often the red and white was also in a pattern connected to the white polka dots on the Amentia muscara mushroom. One last note about this in terms of the concept of Santa coming down the chimney. So if you imagine in Siberia, there's gonna be like several feet of snow at this time of year, making it unable to enter the homes through the front door. The shaman would have most likely needed to travel down through the smoke hole in order to deliver the mushrooms to the villagers. So perhaps that's where we get the concept of Santa coming down the chimney to deliver his gifts. So in conclusion, these are just two theories tied to the origins of Santa. And I think in reality, when you think about some of these early influences that made a big splash into how we view Santa Claus today, I think there's lots of different inspirations here. Yes, Siberian shamanism might have played a role. Yes, the stories of Odin, but there are perhaps even more pagan stories and, and symbolism that we connect with Santa as well. So when you think back to Twas the Night Before Christmas and the political cartoonist Thomas Nast, well, they probably had a wealth of information and symbolism to draw on just by looking back at the old pagan stories of festivals and events occurring at the midwinter time. So I hope you like this video. Let me know your thoughts on the concept of Odin and Siberian shamanism influencing our concept of Santa. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And thanks so much for watching and happy Yule. I'll see you next week. Bye.